G'day team, welcome to another video. This is gonna be part one of a two part um, kind of video series about drawing the uh, properties of a, um, or the property lines of a site. So very often you'll be handed something that looks like this and uh, you'll have to draw accurately the, uh, the boundary lines for the property. So let's use, just to keep it simple, because this is only part one, we'll just use lot four here as an example. Okay, so I understand there's a temptation when you're handed a, a site plan or you know, a registered plan like this to try and trace it. Uh, and I would I highly, highly discourage you from tracing. Always try and use the information provided here. So these bearings and distances to you know actually put the site, the, the property together. I promise it's not that hard, although there are some little tricky bits, which um, which I will hold your hand through. All right, so we'll go up to the site ribbon and we'll go property line. First thing it's gonna ask is how would you like to create it? So if you were being a degenerate, you would create by sketching. Uh, if you're wanting to be a bit more artisanal about it, then you'll go create by entering distances and bearings. So this is gonna bring up a little dialog box here. So all we're gonna be inputting is the distance, obviously, and the bearing. And if it's a straight line, which 99% of boundary lines are, it's just gonna be line. Whereas if it is an arc, so if it's got a curve to it, uh, you'll have to put that in and it's gonna give you a, well, on the registered plan, it should give you a like an arc or a radius and um, you'll be able to, yeah, you'll be able to use the information provided, but it's just a different line type. And uh, we go, you can go, well, really we should be able to go left and right. And I'll show you why going left and right would be, would be handy. So I'm just going to start off with, say we're doing lot four. So this boundary here is 45.215. So 45.215 and the bearing is 38. Now, for the longest time, I used to do the alt codes to put in the degrees symbols. So the alt code for this would be, uh, I think, 0176, which is not too hard to put in, but it's a bit annoying. Um, so if we were to go 38, 11, 10, that's how I did it for an embarrassingly long amount of time. The way that it should be done, and I wish someone told me this sooner. So now let's move up to this boundary here. So that looks like that's 16 meters long. So 16, and it would be 308. And then if you just press, believe it or not, space, it just fills it in for you. And that saves you a ton of time. So I might just trim this bit out so you can, uh, you can join me when it's all done. Okay, so we press enter and we can see that a couple of the lines, well, it's a, it doesn't actually form a complete boundary. The reason that this is, is because if you have a look here, so this is 38, 38 degrees, 11 minutes, 10 seconds. And this is also exactly the same, exactly the same bearing. So obviously if they're exactly the same, they should just be running parallel. So if you go, if you go where I up across and then up again, that's just, that's just direct, the direction it's being told to go. In order to counteract this, you just add or subtract 180 degrees, oh, there, 180 degrees to whatever that boundary is and it will reverse the, uh, reverse the direction of it. So one of these is 38. So if we go, excuse my shocking math, 38 plus 180, so 218. So we're gonna change one of these, I reckon this one, 218 okay cool that's almost there it looks like it's gone even worse now than it was before but that just means we've got to flip the uh, uh, flip this 308 one I reckon that's it easy peasy now 
Now that we've actually got those in, it's this is exactly the same as it's shown in this uh, in this plan here. So if we were to tag the boundaries and forgive me if you don't have property tags loaded in, I'd highly recommend getting some because they will save you a lot of time and effort. So you can see that we, if we tag the property or the boundary, it's not going to say exactly the same as that 308, but 308 and 128 are, are the same boundary. They're just going kind of either, either direction. So if someone pulls you up on that, tell them that Scott disagrees with them and they can take it up with me. Now, a very valid follow up to this is what do you do if you want that site to be going up and down the page? And that's an excellent question because it's a little tiny bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So this is drawn with the assumption that North is straight up the page, right? This is how these, these angles work. If you, if you were to look at this fully zoomed out, um, RP plan or SP plan or whatever, whatever plan type it is, it's very likely that North is either up or down or straight across whatever. So in order to rotate our North, we want to go reveal hidden and we want to find this little bad boy here. And then you see angle to true north there. So we need to change the value of this to be equal to whatever one of these boundaries are. So let's say 38, 11, 10. We'll go 38. And now that's rotated. And the reason that you want to do it that way, rather than just wrote like manually rotating the site is see that this still says 38, 11, 10. So if we were to control Z a couple of times, go reveal hidden. All right. If I was just to rotate this, that now says zero. We've essentially taken away the orientation of those boundary lines. So. I hope that's helped. And if it's your, if you're on YouTube trying to work out how to do this for the first time, I'm sure that's put you in a better position than you were five minutes ago. Part two of this mini series is going to be about how to read these plans a little bit better. And there's going to be a little bit, which is going to focus specifically on how we're given plans in Australia. So when lots were subdivided way back in the day, these plans were put together using a system of measurement called links and chains. So I will, uh, I'll show you how to convert links into millimeters, and then I'll give you a little bit of insight on how to read these plans as well. So essentially if you were to draw like, you know, this boundary in links and chains would most likely be like, 60 links wide. So if you made that boundary 60 meters wide, uh, you're going to get in some serious, serious trouble down the road. So, um, yeah, hope that helps and I'll, uh, I'll chat to you all soon. Thank you very much for watching as always. Cheers.